Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. I hope you're doing fantastic today, guys. Thank you so much for your likes and your subscribes. I'm trying to find out who's stalking you and what's their intention. What's going on here, Spirit? Mm. Who's stalking the collective and what's their intention? Who's doing the stalking? This boss daddy who's going through family issues, tripping on you, and you're unbothered. Hmm. So, and so are these fake F buddies of theirs. They are hating on you. <laughs> but they're wasting their time because this person is really into you. <laughs> So is who's spying on you is your person and the people they're dealing with or person they're dealing with. This your person's very curious about you. They got love on the brain. Mm. So this uh, obsessive lover of theirs wants to fight you <laughs> they hate you <laughs> what's going on what's all this hatred about who's spying on my collective and why searching information trying to unlock some find out some information secretly stalking your person is not over you Mm. feeling guilty wanting to undo the damage mm. oh the karmic regrets doing spell work on you they're in regret why because it's making them paralyzed by fear they're in fear this is your true love spying on you the feelings are mutual. Somebody may want to call you. Mm-hmm. You got everybody spying on you guys. Who's spying on my collective and why? Who's spying on my collective and why? What's up here, Spirit? Why are they spying on the collective? Well, this jealous one is also spying on you. Very jealous of you. Huh? Hmm. This somebody's hurt. Feeling hurt. Got hurt feelings here. Acting like they don't care that things are over, but they care. Trying to learn information. This is the sneaky one. Who headed straight to the Eight of Swords. They snuck away from you. And they headed straight to the freaking jail here. Oh my. They're going through a tower. Mm -hmm. Oh, they could have found out some truth about uh, a child, a pregnancy, a commitment. They found out the truth. 
something was hidden about this child and they are finding out the truth. Hmm. Hmm. They're pissed off and angry. Hmm. Something about the conception of the child. They're like... It's for control. Oh, looky, looky. They're pissed off. They found out the truth. That there was other entertainers here. Hmm. They're depressed. Hmm. Hmm. Well, they're spying on you through social media or trying to gain information about you. And so is their karmic. Mm -hmm. mm. It's like stressed out, can't sleep at night, being haunted. Hmm. Yep, yep, yep. So it is both of them spying on you or however many of them are involved are spying on you. <laughs> They're stressed out. They're being haunted. I cannot make this up. Trauma. <laughs> Dealing with a happiness hater. That's all it is. Who blocked your connection. <coughs> so they're impersonating you. All up in their head. They're drive. They're broke. They're going broke. Their head's all up in the clouds, man. They're stressed out. They're being haunted. Set near waiting. They've been hustled for their money, trying to get the inside scoop, but they can't get no facts. I think this person wants to, oh Jesus. So they were in a love triangle, but other than you, they're in a love triangle. And there is a stalker here. Someone who is clout hungry hmm. is neglecting their kids. Kids could be having nightmares. Your person's being haunted. They're being stalked. This karma gets lonely. They're getting bad karma. That's why. Your person was put in a love triangle. Okay, everybody is stalking everybody. It's absolutely sickening. They're, whoever their karmics are, are spying on you. They're spying on you. Then your person as a stalker spying on them. Uh, trying to catch, like I said, it's an ex or a boyfriend or something or a girlfriend of your person's person. Oh. Oh. Ah, so... They were planning a sexual rendezvous with somebody and a fight has broken out. This is an obsessive stalker, lover. It's a third party.
Yeah, this is too funny. <laughs> Somebody wants to fight you, this obsessive lover wants to fight you, but it's funny because your person <laughs> is in a love triangle with somebody. Everybody is stalking everybody. Everybody is fighting everybody. Everybody wants to fight everybody. <laughs> and you're over there minding your own business. Oh my God. It's, it is. It's ridiculous. It's immature. It's ridiculous. It's this other lover. They regret being with this other lover. They're being haunted by what they did to you, but this other lover has got somebody from their past who is stalking them, stalking your person. Your person and the karmic are stalking you. Oh, frick trying to get some kind of see the reason why I don't even know this is so hideous and ridiculous it's insane so they're trying to get some facts some evidence this X of the karmics is trying to get some facts and evidence about them neglecting children. Because they're always out partying. They're doing stuff that they shouldn't be doing. This ex feels that the karmic is neglecting the kids. So the karmic is using your person to dodge their ex. So this ex is stalking your person and is stalking the karmic. They may have had a physical fight with this person. Your person is stressed the hell out, being haunted, okay, by not only what they did to you, but what they got themselves into. The person who they're with wants to fight you because they're jealous of you. How twisted is that? Your person is going broke. <laughs> they might be sick. They might be trying to heal. And they've got all of this going on. <laughs> they may have gotten sick or injured from a beating. But it's from the karmic's ex. Or current husband, boyfriend. I don't know. They're always drinking, man. Getting manipulated for money. Getting manipulated or blackmailed out of their money. Okay? It is money. They're stuck in a love triangle. <laughs> There's so much craziness going on there. I am so grateful that I'm not anywhere near it. You're sitting over here all stable, unbothered. Everybody's spying on you to see what you're doing. Everybody is spying on your person. Everybody is spying on the karmic. The karmic is spying on your person and you. The karmic sex is spying on your person, wanting to fight them. If they haven't already, they want to. Karmic wants to fight you. And you're just like blocked at all. Took your power back and walked the hell away. 
you're headed straight to a victory and this person feels rejected now. Maybe their family is rejecting them as well. Well, do you blame them? Everybody's stalking everybody. Maybe the they're going woo-hoo crazy. is like they could be involving stalking this person's family, stalking this person's friends, stalking the who are they talking to, who are they doing, blah, blah, blah. It's like this... Karmic, they could be like being over intrusive with this person's family, uh, f trying to find out information. Where are they? I haven't heard from them in three minutes. Where are they at? Where are they at? Where are they at? The karmic's ex is like doing their own investigation spying who are the family members who can I contact where are they at could be it's insane and their family could even be keeping them at a distance or keeping them away because they don't want to involve themselves in this person's bullshit it's getting out of hand See? Talking to their family, talking to their friends. Baby mama's like talking to their family. Where are they at? Where, where's the emperor? Where are they at? I haven't heard from them in three minutes. Where, where, where are they? They're ignoring my phone calls. They're not taking my phone calls. This is crazy, man. Yeah, they got problems, all right. They do. Their family is seeing this whole thing as a huge burden. Like, how come you're bringing all your troubles to us? How could you have brought all these freaking issues to our doorstep. They're like... <laughs> Their family sees this as a huge ass burden. It's like, man, they got everybody stalking everybody here. The phones are blowing up, text messaging going back and forth, drive-bys, you name it. It's like their family doesn't even want to get involved. They're like, keep your fucking shit elsewhere. And I don't blame them. You wanted toxicity, you got toxicity. I mean... Even their friends are seeing this situation as a burden. Even their friends and family, they're just like, don't involve me. I don't want to be involved in your bullshit. Tell your karmic to cool their ass. Stop calling me. Stop texting me. They don't answer the phone. They blow up the phone. Where are they? Where are they? Where are they? Oh. Sick. Yeah, they're just blocking the whole thing. Blocking this karmic. I don't want nothing to do with it. I don't want nothing to do with it. I'm hearing you made your bed laying it. So some of their family members are just like, stay away. I don't want to get involved with this karmic. I don't want to get involved with their bullshit. 
some of their family got little kids. You know what I'm saying? Just keep these crazy mofos away from my house. Okay? Lose my number. So much gossip going around. <laughs> Their family's gossiping about it. Their friends are gossiping about it. Everybody's talking about it. And most of the people don't want to be bothered. Don't call my house. Don't text my phone. Some of these have blocked the karmic period. I don't want to talk to you. Hang up calls. It's just like a nightmare, man. No wonder they're haunted. That's why they want to reconcile with you. You were like the only sanity that they knew. But mind you, Everybody's talking about this person. There's so much gossip going on. They can't go to work. They can't go home. They can't go to their family. They can't go to their friends without interference from you know who. That's what it's saying. That's their karma. I mean, they're getting some badass karma, man. They've got involved with the wrong people, I'm telling you right now. They just, what this person did, they're not. Some of these people, they're not really bad people, okay? Some of them are not. Some of them are. But some of them are not really bad people. They just got mixed up with the wrong crowd. Okay? They were easily led. They're a follower when they're supposed to be a leader. They're just like easily led. They think that they're not smart when they are smart. The, you know what I mean? If there was spell work done, this karmic regrets doing the spell work because it's backfiring. Your person is in regret because they're getting bad karma. So is the karmic. Oh, my God. This was all unnecessary. Every bit of this did not need to play out the way that it did. It was truly all unnecessary none of it had to happen what are you going to learn by all this seriously what are you going to learn by that just bringing a bunch of bad karma upon themselves a bunch of bullshit that they didn't need to have happen in the first place who could stand all the drama? Just seriously. People are turning their backs on these people. It's just like, you're driving me nuts. Keep your bullshit away from me. Who needs it? Even their friends and their family and people at work are like, holy. Have a nice day. <laughs> Take care.